in this video, I'm gonna show you what I carry inside of my set bag. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very special guest and his name is Winston. This is my set bag and we go on every gig, every adventure together. <laughs> and throughout those gigs, I've definitely learned what products I have to carry and what products can stay at home. If you're new to my channel, I'm a licensed esthetician and freelance makeup artist based out of Los Angeles, obsessed with simplifying beauty and giving you all the information that I know. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that'll keep you up to date on my latest videos. All right guys, let's get into the bag. Set bags are really important to have because usually you do the makeup in a trailer or in a separate area than where you're filming. So it's important to kind of take the key products that you need with you in a bag so that you don't have to keep running back and forth because sometimes location or base camp can be pretty far from where camera's rolling. Winston is my little flyer and I call him my little flyer because he's always on my shoulder whenever I'm flying in to touch up on an actor. First of all, I'm obsessed with labels. If you've watched any of my videos before inside my kit, you know I label everything. This, I like to have as Shannon's set bag with an arrow up because there are so many names and people to keep track of on set. And so it's kind of like my sneaky little way of if someone forgets my name, they can kind of see that I'm wearing a name tag, but it's on Winston in disguise. <laughs> it's really important in a set bag is having everything organized and accessible. So you don't have to like be fumbling around looking for whatever you need. So in these first pockets, this is what I put where I need the most. These are the Cover FX blotting powders. These are my favorite. I carry them in light, medium, and deep, as well is just a little translucent powder from Makeup Forever. So after powder, probably the thing that I reach for second most on set are my favorite, Altoids. <laughs> this is a very specific flavor. This is the wintergreen flavor, and I have maybe 10 of these at least every day that I work on set. Then in the base of this, I also carry a lip balm. Lip balms are really handy to have, especially if you need to like rehydrate a lip color. One thing that you really notice if you're looking at your actors in the monitor is sometimes if someone has dry lips, it's really obvious. So it's important to have lip balm that you can just apply quickly. And then the last thing that I have in here is mostly for me, but it's just a little glasses cleaner. Um, I wear glasses when I'm on set and I use this all the time because I gotta see clearly. <laughs> so in my last pocket in the front, this is kind of like body necessities. As a makeup artist, you're responsible for all skin showing from head to toe. So hand lotion is really important to have. I end up using it a lot too because we're sanitizing our hands all the time, so it's important to keep your hands hydrated as well as actors too. Sometimes you'll be filming and production decides to do an insert of a hand. And since we are responsible for all skin, it's also really important to have nail clippers on set. This guy has come in handy so many times, it's not even funny. Make sure you have the one with the little cleaner side <laughs> of the nail clipper because sometimes on an insert, it's magnified. You'll see like a little bit of dirt that you need to get rid of. So it's really important to have these as well. Another thing that I like to carry in my little pocket here is some hand sanitizer. This is the Jow version. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, what I really like about it is that it's also a multitasker product. So not only does it sanitize hands, you can also use it as a refresher underneath your arms. If you get a little sweaty on set, it's also a zit zapper and it smells like lavender, which is really nice too. Floss is really important to carry in your set bag for easy access. I can't even tell you how many times people will ask for it or you'll go to fly in to do a touch up and you'll notice that the actor has a little bit of food in their mouth. So it's easy for me to just give them a quick piece and they can take care of it themselves. This is a um, mint, peppermint oil. And I actually, on the last job, I smashed it and dropped it. So <laughs> I need to figure out I need to depot it or something. But this guy comes in handy all the time when you're working on hot sets. A lot of times, not only if you're working on exterior outside shots when it's really hot outside, but also when you're in a studio, the lights can be really hot. So I'll take a little bit of this peppermint oil and put it on the back of my actors next and it helps cool them down. The last thing in my little pocket is a little Sharpie. This guy comes in handy all the time. I feel like I'm saying this all the time, but that's why it's all in this bag because I use it all the time. But a Sharpie is great for labeling your water bottle. I feel like everyone's always like, hey, does anyone have a Sharpie? And I whip it out all the time for other people too. What I like to carry regardless in my set bag is if we're in a studio or we're shooting outside, definitely a fan or a few fans depending on how many talent you have. This will save you from a lot of touch-ups and actors like it too. Um, nothing more distracting if they're like sweating like crazy and so it's nice to just give them a little 
a little fanning to, to help cool the body down and keep your makeup on longer. Some things that I like to carry for every job is just a little bag of brushes. Um, sometimes I'll do background brushes. If you're assisting, you're usually working on background. Um, this just has like a few powder brushes, a few concealer brushes, a few lip brushes, just quick things that I think that I would need. As well as a few sponges and these are really great but you can get them at like a car repair shop um, I'll link it all in the description box below but this helps like take up any sweat so you don't have to keep applying so much powder on someone I usually would like to take off the sweat first and then apply a light dusting of powder if they still need it this is a great product to have as well this is from straight pin studios sometimes I have to do both hair and makeup so this kind of gives you a little assortment of any kind of clip or hairband, bobby pin, anything that you would need for like a quick touch up. As well as this product, this is called Tonjo. This is the best. <laughs> it's amazing for flyaways. So if you're working on a green screen or there's just like a pesky hair that just keeps sticking out ready to party, <laughs> this is amazing. You can actually pop it off and then just apply it directly on the hair. Um, as well as using your fingers just to kind of smooth the hair down and it takes away any flyaway. It's amazing. <laughs> the next thing that I carry is a little paw palette. This is a great one. You can just pop it on. It's amazing for um, quick touch-ups. You can just throw a product on and work directly off of this. I like the white one so you can see every product that you're applying. And it's in the form of a cat, which is really cool. <laughs> Winston likes it. <laughs> The last thing that I carry in this big pouch, there's actually this little side pocket right in here. And that's where I always carry a little spatula and this tattoo cover. Sometimes if the wardrobe changes or if you're working on a lot of background talent and they're like, wait, we want your sleeve lifted and then suddenly you have a giant tattoo <laughs> that you didn't know was there. This has come in handy a lot just for like quick tattoo cover-ups. Um, this is from Mehron, it's just their tattoo cover wheel. In a pinch, you can also use it for under eye concealer or just like a quick concealer. Sometimes just things pop up that you don't always see when you're in person, but on monitor it can shine. For example, like a pimple on the back or something like that that you didn't necessarily notice in the makeup chair, but when you're on set you have to cover it, so this is really handy for that as well as a spatula. So this is the last pouch, and this is stuff that's still really important, and I use it, but not as often as the stuff that I use in the front. So straws are really important to carry because if you spend a lot of time working on an actress's lips, it's nice if they use a straw because it'll preserve your lip line for a little bit longer. The last thing that you want to do is hold up production, um, touching up a lip line that could have been saved with a straw. <laughs> the next thing are little blotting papers. I love this one. I actually got it at Sephora. This is great because there's a sponge attached to it. So you actually just pop it off, you blot with it, and then you can peel off the blotting papers. Are you eating popcorn while you're filming this video? Maybe? <laughs> The next thing are wet ones. This is great for you as a makeup artist, but it's also great for those like last minute touches that you notice in the monitor. I, many times I've been working in a scene where the person is barefoot and then you look at the monitor and their feet are covered in dirt somehow. <laughs> so these are great to just kind of run in and give it to them to clean up. Same with if you're working with any kind of effects or the actress is working with any kind of prop that you know, food or anything like that, it's nice to offer them this as well. The next thing that I carry in this back pouch, this is a little pill container that is filled with Q-tips. I have both sizes in here. This always comes in handy um, for cleaning gunk out of the eyes, touching up a lip line, helping smudge underneath the eyes. I mean, you can use them for anything. The last thing that I carry is a mirror, and this is kind of, I go back and forth with it. I have a larger mirror, and then I have a little mirror attached to the powders that I carry. So depending on the actor and depending on the situation, I'll give them the little mirror or the big mirror. <laughs> it's true. I, I like carrying a big mirror because then they can see everything and they can, you know, if they like their hair a particular way or if you're looking out for a certain thing on monitor, it's nice to give them the whole mirror because then they can see everything. But also, sometimes if you're giving them the big mirror right before you're about to shoot and they notice something with the makeup or their hair or their wardrobe or something that needs to get fixed, it can hold up things too. It's tough. It's really tough. Like, I don't know. You just kind of have to read the situation. If I was assisting someone, I would never give talent a mirror. But if it's my project and my actors and I kind of know the situation, then I will give them a, a bigger mirror. <laughs> 
is this even interesting? It's true, but I mean, I don't know. And then the last thing that is so important and has saved my butt a lot of times is a little tissue attachment. These, you can get them at Target or wherever. These are amazing because it just clips onto the side. I did this one project and we were all running super behind and I looked at the monitor and the actress had a little bit of something in her nose and so I had to run in, do a quick touch up. She was actually holding a tray. We were literally about to shoot and I ended up having to grab a little Kleenex and just swipe out our <laughs> unwelcome guest and then run back to monitor and there and they were able to keep shooting. So although most of the time the actors take care of whatever's in their nose, <laughs> every once in a while, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> So that is all that I carry as basically kind of like my skeleton of my set bag. It can vary and range depending on the project that I'm working on. If you are working with talent for multiple days, you'll probably build out an actor set bag and I'll go into that in a separate video. But basically inside of here, you would have your actor set bags. If I'm flying in blind, working with background, working with a lot of different talent, or I don't know what I'm gonna be doing necessarily, I'll throw in some palettes in this big compartment just to kind of cover my bases. And there are two brands that I like to carry. The first one is the La Maquillage palettes. I've talked about these in a lot of videos because I really love using them. If you need to mix and match a color on the fly, these are great because you can really do anything with them. My latest love and obsession, this is from Sean Richards London. This is a really cool product because they are so pigmented. So you can sheer them out and use them as foundation bases or concealers, but you can also cover a tattoo with them really easily and they're also super light. So I like these two to kind of carry to cover my bases if I need it. Alrighty guys, that is it for me for this week. If you want to catch Winston and me in action, <laughs> definitely check out my Instagram and Facebook at Makeup by Shannon Marie. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that super helps me. And I hope you're having an awesome week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.